Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Princess SMP. It's I, Melody here, residing in the Nether. Today, we're having a meeting about the plan to trap Annabelle. No, to today we're having a meeting about the plan to trap Amara. I know when I talked to Morgan, it didn't go very well, so it'll be interesting to see how the rest of this goes. Um, I don't know how I'm going to be able to convince them that this is a good idea, or if it's a good idea, or if we'll have other ideas. I don't know where we're meeting either. I don't know if we're going to be in the um, Elven Kingdom or what. But I thought I would at least maybe go and get a map before situated while there's no seraphs around. Oh, of course it's raining. All right. Okay, 506. Okay, we're gonna wanna go this way and not hurt ourselves, preferably. Okay. We still need to go a little tiny bit farther. Alright, we got that part. Get the back of the castle. Perfect. Then we'll have to get the far end as well. I think I want to be more on this edge over here. Oh. Did someone rob Eris's? Or maybe they didn't finish it. What's this over here? Oh. There's real no way for me to get in there without a water bucket or dying. So I'm just going to avoid doing that right at this moment. But good to know. I want to know what house that is. Alright, I've got one more. And then I'll have to put these in an ender chest or something. Okay, I got a corner. I don't know if that matches all the corners. I'll have to see if those all match up. I think it's good for me to go home. Put these in the end chest. Do we have an end chest? We have an end chest, right? Yes, in the office. Okay. That's not the office. For now, I messed up on one of them, which is unfortunate. But at least I'll have something put together. I should probably maybe get some item frames together so I can look at it a little bit. Oh my gosh, leather galore. I've never seen this as an elf. I've never seen this much leather in my life. Okay. Um, any more sticks? Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> was there and then was not there. Why is there an egg? <laughs> Why is there an egg there? It's fine. I won't question it. Um, 
appears. I need to put this maybe... Oh, did I put away the... I'm gonna try and put this together. Hmm. I was gonna put maybe something secret in the house. But I don't know if it's a good idea. You know what? No. It's fine. Not at this moment in time. I'll put this all in the end chest and I'll... Oh, bye. I'll worry about that after since she's here. Awake. Bells. I'll put the apples in there too. I should make some more golden apples. Um, bread. I don't really need bread. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the castle. Get some more food. Cause I need food. Really bad. And then I'll check in with more. And see if she's ready to go. Um. Mushroom rice. It's pumpkin season. <laughs> It's time for that stuffed pumpkin. It's pumpkin season. Yay. Okay. Um. <sighs> Potions. Break out one of these. I need to replenish that at some point. And I'm just gonna go ahead and boom. I can't hear you. Hi. Hi. I wasn't talking. Oh. <laughs> I said hi, and then you didn't say hi back, so then I thought that you did. You did. Anyway. <laughs> How are you? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Um. How are you? Good. That's good. I was just going over some books. I have updated the nether laws and I need to give the copy back to... I gotta really quickly run some errands, but I don't know. I think our meeting is like now, right? So I should probably do it after. Um... Yeah, who is all going to be there? Is it just Annabelle, Karma, you... And Kaya? And you? And well, yes, me, of course. Um, I think so. I wanted to bring Fang along, but he is not currently here. Oh. Um, I could bring Lucario, if you think that it would be good for him to be in on this plan. Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have at least one night in on it. We'll probably, yeah, we'll probably need all knights in on it, eventually. Uh, meaning, uh, oh. But if you have errands to run, Sweet. that's okay. It's I... really quick. I literally just need to drop this book off in, like, Ira's mailbox, and then I need to go to the Seraph Kingdom and give them bone blocks. Okay. Because they keep giving me netherite hoes. That's <laughs> Which funny. I appreciate, <laughs> but it's... Uh, where was it? This one? <laughs> just read this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love this. I, I love this for you. I grabbed it. Okay. The... I don't know if you read it, though. <laughs> I didn't but, read like, it. it, it Okay. <laughs> it's oh, really just funny. Once. 
I am far from their home with another on my for me to box. I'm gonna trade that whatever I need to know. We'll go send the lost home back to their home. <laughs> Hope this home <laughs> can go towards a good home and use it to the realm of blocks to shall inform you to find more hopes on my training expedition. <laughs> <laughs> got me was the uh whatever you decide we will continue to send lost hose back to the realm <laughs> <laughs> we are just the realm of the hose apparently oh boy we should start sending them diamond hose back <laughs> do you want one by the way i have three you why do you have three diamond hose no i have three netherite <laughs> oh oh no i don't you don't want one not particularly, no. I should give one to Debbie because they're farming. They uh, they do farming. Yeah, yeah, yeah do that. Um... Give them all three. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm gonna keep one for myself in case I ever need one. Like in here, I have. Oh, I must have moved them. Actually, I did. I used to have um, my silk touch. Pickaxe in there? Uh. My normal pickaxe doesn't have silk touch on it. What? Did you steal it? Oh no, this is yours. What? This was my old one. Oh. Yeah, I borrowed it. Fine, you can keep it. Can I keep it? Oh, thank goodness, because this one's yeah. just a normal one. It has no enchants, and it's a pain in the butt to use. I've got this one. This I've got a fire ruby one with mending efficiency and unbreaking on it. Oh, okay. Good then. Um I think I did have a silk touch enchantment book and I don't know what I did with it. Oh well. Um, uh, Sparrow's sentence is almost up. We have another day, I think, on it. I, uh, I still don't know what to do. <laughs> I still don't know if I... Did you should keep them as a knight. Maybe if you feel like it, there was no harm behind it, then maybe give them a test to test their loyalty. Well, what I was thinking was to send them back to knight in training because... I actually thought about it and I remembered how they took so long like, like longer than most knights have to like like normal knight training is usually about like a year period um where they're like learning the laws and they're training and they're practicing and like fighting styles and stuff like that and they're like shadowing under Lucario or like the captain and then they're shadowing under Fang and like stuff like that theirs took like I think it was like two or three years. They just like, it was a matter of like, they didn't feel confident, so they just stayed as a knight in training for ever. But yeah, maybe they weren't that. ready yet. I know they were focusing a lot on their like blacks as well, because we did need that. Um, so, I just put them back in, into, into training. I. Although I would love Lillian to be a knight, I think that would be very interesting. I think... I think I want to keep her on, like... I don't know. She's she's really good at supplying the kingdom with food. And really good <laughs> no kidding. And really good at building and, yeah, <laughs> and building and, like, she's got two kids and stuff like that that I just, I don't want to call things. Yeah, that's understandable. Well, then, yeah, maybe putting them as a knight in training again to kind of see see if they can be trusted to be a full-fledged knight again. 
is a good idea. Yeah. I, I just don't want Lucario to be alone on his own. Yeah. Um, Annabelle did miss of me saying um, mm. that they are waiting in the Elven Vault for us. So, um, oh. do you? Should I say? Um, can I just we need to go have to a the few minutes farm to grab? Or we have what? Do you want me to ask for a few more minutes so that you can do what you need to do? I can do the errands after, but okay. I'm just going to go to the Wither Farm and grab the, the blocks now. Okay. Um, and then I can just, when we're done, just like hit up the spots that I need to and then come home. Okay. Do you want me to come with you or wait for you at the... Uh... Come with me just because cause we got to meet up with the Cario too. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go with the Wither Farm. Because this is so far away, this is the one thing that I forgot that, like, we could have cleaned up and made nicer. <laughs> oh, well. Did I leave Silk Touch in here? Um, Sharpness, exhaust power, efficiency... Do not have some touch. I respect. Nope. <clears throat> I have no idea what I did with it. It's not my. Not sure. Well. Uh, sorry, Kyle. Um, four hours each day. Telling Lucario we're going. Okay. Alright. Elven Kingdom? Well. Okay, good thing I guessed. Okay, I... Yes, oh, sorry. Well, either way, I, I've i never grabbed the Waystone in the vault because I just didn't. Okay, so you can TP to me then? I didn't feel. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Are you sick? Yeah. Did the kids no. get you sick? No. <laughs> well, they didn't get me sick. Did Lillian Your get you sick? Your voice is deeper. What the heck? <laughs> That's <Yeah>. weird. <laughs> it's been like this for a few days. Oh. Oh, man. I had to yell a lot, so I kind of killed it. Oh. Dang, them kids making you yell at them. <laughs> yeah. Um, so more is gonna TP to me and then you can you have her teller pass on you. Uh we'll grab it. Okay. Alright, if you wanna go. Okay. Hi. Yeah, that's understandable. Hello. 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 Just me, or are you like higher than the chair? Yeah, you all look like you're floating <laughs> above it. <laughs> How did you do that? Hmm. Are you sitting on the table? There so, are cushions no. on the chair, maybe that's why? Oh, you sat on the cushion and not the chair? I don't know. Maybe there are cushions on the chairs, but do you mind if I just just just, just for now? Oh. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. Am I able sorry? To... No, you're not. Stop! You're not. Oh Stop! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. There. There. Now I can actually see you. Right. Yeah. So. So. Um. Game plan with Amara. Um, have you been informed of what's going on, Lucario? Not too much. Who wants to inform Lucario? <laughs> um, 
I mean, I can, to the best of my knowledge. Um, so basically, what we're meeting about... You know what we're meeting about today, right? Uh, this is just called a meeting, from my knowledge. Okay. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be Fang that was joining us, but he is not... He's very tired from his travel still. Fair. Um, so... Mel and I thought it would be best if at least one knight knew what was going on. Eventually, they will all be informed if well, one knight that is all. The only knight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, like Fang is like the general commander, so like technically he is a knight. That's just not his title. He's a higher title. And then, yeah. Mm. But okay. should you need their aid, they will be informed. Okay. So. Basically, Lucario, what we're meeting about today is we're discussing what to do about um, my mother, um, whose name is Amara, and she has posed quite a threat to just, well, not to only myself, but also like the kingdom and all that type of stuff. Do you know what happened five years ago? Uh, I think I have some knowledge, but not all of it. Oh, I really have to explain everything. Okay. Um, I can. I can. I can. Yeah. Um. You know how Anthony was the one that was chosen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because. Annabelle's mother was the one who um, prevented Annabelle from making a, a choice. So the Lord Keeper chose for her, and they chose Anthony. Uh. Hmm. So technically, Amara is the reason Anthony's dead. Wow. Yeah. Um... It's important for you to know this piece of information, too. Just... I don't want to put any other... I don't want to put any other, like... I don't want to set anybody else out for Kaya. But it's it's an important in piece of the story. And a reason as to why Kaya is, like, here. And why they are so involved in this. How... I was stopped from making a decision. Uh, after my coronation, uh, Kaya had kidnapped me and uh, taken me to Amara. And Kaya had been working with Amara huh. since the beginning. Or since for as long as I'm aware of, I'm, I'm not sure. But from now on, here on out, or after, you know, Anthony's death, Kaya has been basically posing as like a double agent for us, keeping Amara happy while also feeding us information that Amara tells her, which hasn't been a lot. Hmm. And she's been very silent ever since then. Which is why we're having this meeting to see what we could do about possibly bringing her out of the shadows. Because she is a part of the... I don't know if I can word this in a way to make it not sound terrible. She... So basically, the aliens are not the original family of the Elven Kingdom. It was the um, Belairs. And that is Amara's line. And that is also my line. Um, so yeah. Huh. Amara feels slighted, and she wants the crown back, which is why it poses a risk to the Elven Kingdom. And she has made it clear she's wanting, she's willing to do anything, as she has also sent bounty hunters after Anthony and Melody before. Wow. Mm -hmm. But Melody, Kaya, and I had an idea, or well, Melody 
came to me with this idea more so that we would find a way of drawing her out and if you want to explain more on that melody you can yeah i had an idea since her motivation has been Hush, that she actually, doesn't hold on yes Hush, i just realized that we're not in a group that is a oh. good point can people hear us in here um only if they're like, yes. directly above the vault i think it's a good idea like, to now get into a group yeah. just in yeah, case sorry i should have said something sooner you're okay um i can make it okay um one two three Okay. So. Apologies. <laughs> no, that, that was a good thing to point out. Um, since she, she has anger directed towards the Aelin family, and I am the last Aelin that's of age, that's an eligible heir right at the moment, I thought about coming back to the Elven throne. Um basically dethroning Annabelle to try and motivate Amara to do something and tell Kaya something so that we can be able to trap her in some way, shape, or form. So I, Annabelle and I came up with an idea to hold an event um, where we would do this publicly. And mm -hmm. we're discussing the logistics of that as well as maybe possible alternatives in this meeting. Right. An alternative that Kaya brought to me, which I don't know if we really want to bring up right now, uh, but an alternative that Kaya brought up to me. I've also spoken to Karma and Kano about this, is that Kaya thought it would be a good idea to up the antics if I faked my death. Oh. What? Thought we already discussed that that wouldn't be a plausible option. I understand. I just feel like I should bring it up so that way we know all of the options that are on the table. What would faking your death bring? It could make her... It could draw her out even more. It could make her even more mad. It could give her even more of a reason to make any sort of move. The more time we give her for planning, we've given her five years. I don't want to imagine what she could do if we gave her even more time than that. So it's either it's we... Easy. Sorry, go ahead. I was just saying it's either we make some sort of move or we let her do whatever she's doing. And as of right now, that's nothing, but that's also kind of terrifying. I also wanted to catch her off guard if we made a move that she didn't expect. That maybe whatever she was or is planning, it would pause whatever. I think at the end of the day, you just if she truly wants the crown, I don't, like, I think I think you being quote unquote dead will benefit her. It's one less person that she has to get through, get to it. Yeah, right. I could throw her for a loop. If she does actually care about you, then it might stun her for a while and give us more time. But I, we have no idea if that 
actually truly benefit us or not. I see I'm it not as sure. not beneficial, which is why I had Vincent here before. I did not think it was a good idea. Yeah. I mean, when I brought this up to Kano, Kano thought that we could also go in a different route and try to see if she has any more spies within our ranks. See if she's gathering information another way other than Kaya, since she feels as if Kaya may be compromised at this point. Mm -hmm. Has but... she given any indication that she thinks that? Like, to you? Nope. Except for the fact that she doesn't tell you anything anymore. Mm -hmm. Which is... strange. So... That's why we thought about giving Kai an opportunity to show loyalty to Amara. In some way, shape, or form. If we do the plan where you fake your death though that we can't really give Amara information about that because we can't tell her that we're faking your death yeah um so that part of it we can't use Kai as a double agent for it could definitely provoke her but yeah then I become the lone target mm -hmm. um it was Kai's idea. I don't know her logic behind it. It, it was just an idea. I... Okay. But the event one, I would suggest that we throw a ball. <laughs> um, and it, it would kind of be a reverse of what happened at the original Elven Ball. I would stand up, tell everyone that something along the lines of I'm taking back the throne, kind of um, forcefully, and we'll go from there. But all that does is just transfer the target to be on your back. At least in, in my opinion, it eliminates a step. And I don't want to talk about your children so objectively, but it would be you and then Dahlia that she'd have to go through, technically. Mm -hmm. It's two people versus one, and we don't have any children. And who's to say that they would even, like, if we're both running the kingdoms, we'd have no idea who our children would actually be the heir to. But who's to say that from, again, stopping her from just eradicating? It's one step to get to the throne if it's through you. But she could just kill any future challenge to the throne. But I feel like well, if I she... Mean, if Go ahead. I was going to say, I mean, even if we do go through with that plan, even when I don't fake my death, that would still mean that I would still be some sort of an heir to the throne. And even Amara am could throne. want to work with you because she's obviously wants you on the throne, but she wants to control it with you there. So maybe that would motivate her to work with you again to try and get the throne back. And then you have direct communication with her. Right. That could also work out within our favor. Because then both me and Kaya would have communication. But... It all depends on her reaction. Yeah. It really does. I also just... I feel like we can't just, like, do nothing at this point. We've given her so much time. I mean, 
disregarding Amara's reaction, you gotta consider the reactions of the other kingdoms of any plan you do. Because if you do this ball idea, that is going to look like you two are in a power struggle. And that just shows weakness to other kingdoms. So if there is some, another king with malicious intentions, that will give them the opportunity they need to potentially try to take over. So you're opening yourselves up to more than just Amara as a threat. Hmm. I don't really care the opinions of other kingdoms and what they think. You would care if they enter into your kingdom on terms of war. Then we'll go to war. Yeah, but do we really want to be dealing with a war while Amara's trying to... That just gives her an opportunity to sneak in. Like, we're, we're occupied with fighting each other. She's she would just come up from behind. You're creating more threats with that plan. I also well, don't want you in... If you wanted the elven throne because you wanted to rule the kingdom, it's a different story. But you're doing this to put a target on your back from Amara. And you know how I feel about that. I just... I want to get a... Re I need... I just want to get a reaction out of her. If there was another way, it was just the first way that I came up with. Just because I know well, we don't she know doesn't how this like reaction me. is gonna end. And you made me a promise. I know. Well, maybe there's another way that we can get her out of the shadows that isn't a public event or puts a target necessarily on my back. Or if it does, it's not a dangerous one. I think the easiest and most straightforward way is just to call her out. If she's this powerful dark magic witch either stroking her ego or challenging it it's gonna piss her off. If we go, hey, you're not as tough as you think you are, we're better than you she's gonna want to prove us wrong. How would you suggest doing that? If Kaya is still having meetings, they could start planting some seeds about how... I don't know. We're not afraid of her anymore or something like that? Or... That... Maybe, like, you could... We could make up some fake artifacts, because I know I don't have Cyrax anymore, but... If Cyrax existed within the within the realm, like a weapon wielded by one of these gods, who's to say there's not more? There's relics. There's things that we could, you know, in these last five years could have found, quote unquote, that like defeats anti magic. And even if it doesn't, it'll just annoy her. We could plant information that we found a way to break the twin curse even though we haven't really I mean maybe that will shall actually feed us some information about the twin curse or try to stop us and then, yeah and then maybe whatever route she takes to try and stop us that will show us that she actually knows the way to break it right I don't know. I just feel like we should do something, whether maybe Kano's way that he mentioned of just trying to figure out if we have any other sort of disloyalties within the Elven Kingdom, if that makes sense. But who other than who's at this table right now, besides Kano? would know this information. I don't know. Hopefully no one else. Because the only others with access to this vault are Fang, 
and the children. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, honestly. I can't imagine, but I wouldn't... It wouldn't hurt to try to look into it. Who are you allied with again? Um, I have the books on me. I have an alliance with the Winter Kingdom. And then I have a neutrality pact with the, with the mermaids. Oh, so same as me. Yeah. Um, the alliance... We originally had an alliance with the mermaids, but that... Mm -hmm. Was... Mm -hmm, tampered mm -hmm. with. So... We decided to just shift away from a full alliance at that point, so that way we could reevaluate later down the line, but I I don't know. I, we don't really share that much information between each other. Like, I'm just thinking, like, who in those, because, you know, keep your friends close, enemies closer, I don't want to rule out any potential spies in other kingdoms either. I mean, yeah, but it's... I don't know who else I would be close with in any other kingdoms. I... Close enough to relay this type of information, too, or... I don't know. Dino, have you been telling anybody else? <laughs> Who's Dino? I mean, Kaya, have you been telling anybody else? No. No. A certain night you haven't been speaking to about specific things? Not often. Okay. That doesn't sound promising. Have you spoken to Max about this issue? This plan? No. I, the only thing I told Max was that five years ago about, about what I did. That, that was more of a vent. So who's this person that you're talking to? I, I'm not. That was Matt. I, I, I knew. I don't talk to him. Talking about, yeah. I don't talk to him all the time, but he knows that I do have a connection with Amara, but I don't tell him everything. Does he know who Amara is? He knows that it's Annabelle's mother. And? That's it. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, he knows that she gives me my memory potions. But he doesn't know why. Oh. Uh, sorry, my memory's really fuzzy. I mean, if he knows that what you did five years ago and then knows that Amara offers you memory potions, even if you haven't specifically said it, he could have connected the dots that you get the potions for working for her. Most likely. So that would be an outlier. Mm -hmm. um, if we ever needed to worry about Max, which I personally don't think we do, but... It's not Max that I'm worried about. With the then other knights. Else? But I don't know if he's... I feel... I I want to say that Max is decent at keeping things to themselves, but I also know that they get nervous. And I don't, so at the moment, particularly trust the uh, other elven knights. Or Alpha Knights, uh, Winter Knights. I've not met any of the other Winter Knights. I have no opinion on them, neither negative or positive. I have not been there or been in contact since the initial alliance was forged with the Winter Kingdom. And I believe Max heavily, um, was the one who heavily pushed for 
the alliance to begin with, so. Hmm. I am not sure, but I just, I don't know. That would be an outlier. Um, I don't think there would be any others, though. Maybe we just... Maybe we just have a ball anyway. Not for any specific reason. Well, more of like a socialites gathering. Um, as it's been a while since I've mingled and spoke to the other kingdoms outside of like parental duties. Our paths mm. crossing with our children. Um, but Could be an opportunity to plant information and see if there is anybody in the room who knows anything. That's true. Yeah, if right. the winter nights are there, they might mention something on accident or slip up if they're in the Elven well, Kingdom. Not even that. If there is a double, if there if there's a spy within any of the kingdoms for her, if we offhandedly say things at said ball, and then we get that information back, she does it or she believes it, then we kind of know. Oh, this person was the one who was kind of around us when they were when we were talking about it. So they might be the potential spy. Right. Like seed misinformation. I just, I, uh, another thing when it comes to the ball, I don't know if we like want to put the other kingdoms in the way of her wrath. Well, if she doesn't attend, unless you think she would attend. She hasn't I mean, if the whole point is to call her out though, if she does attend, well, that's where we can plant and the information. If if we have the ball, we plant the information, a rumor, that we've figured out how to bre break the twin curse, for example. Her I was talking about the original plan of you announcing that you're stepping up. Oh, if I thought you didn't want me to decides, do that. I don't want you to do that. But what I'm saying is that, like, I'm saying a hypothetical on why, like, an additional reason on why I don't think it's a good idea is... If you step up, announce that you're stepping up, and she's there, and she wants to take it out on you in that moment, all the other kingdoms are there, and someone could get hurt if 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 we can't immediately take her down, you know? Mm -hmm. It was just something that I thought of while we were talking. I mean, but. yeah. What would be... The, the misinformation that we would spread at this ball would be that we found a way to break the Twin Curse? Mm, that was the first thing that could... Uh, that came to my mind that I feel like would provoke her and possibly give us information about the Twin Curse based on her reaction mm -hmm. to us f figuring it out. Um, yeah, we could plant information about that, saying that we knew we figured that out, and then we could also plant information stating that we aren't afraid of her anymore, or she's not that big of a issue, or I don't know how many people know about her. Um, the Twin Curse is widely known at this point, but I don't know how many people are aware of Amara herself. That's why I think the Twin Curse is a good way to mention her without mentioning her at all. Yeah. Because if there is a double agent from a different kingdom, or even in the Elven Kingdom, then she will learn about that information quickly. Right. If not, we can have Kaya be the one to relay that information. A good thing to listen out for is if you do mention the Twin Curse and someone does connect it to Amara and it's not someone that we already currently know is aware of Amara, that could give us a lead on if someone else might be in acquaintances with her. Also, just as a question, I know this may be a little hard to remember back that far, but five years ago after the incident, 
Was anybody else made aware of what happened? Or... Oh, it was... Oh, you shoot. Were, yes. Who else was made aware? I don't... Uh, was anybody else other than these people in this room made aware of Amara? Technically, I told Marina and Ira. So for all we know, I, the princesses are aware. Yeah, but it was... This is something that, I mean, obviously... It all depends on trust and actuality of, like, people's word. But it was a private, quote-unquote, princess meeting between us where it was a... It was something that was only said between Mel, myself, um... And I did ask them to not Marina relay that information to anybody. So if they kept their That's word, okay. they didn't. Okay. It's all a matter what of... What about Rain? Rain? Rain was, um asked to come and I said no. So she should not know anything. I mean, yeah. Anything regarding rain, I feel like it's just a touchy subject altogether. Whether or not they know information or they don't know information about us and what we have planned and stuff like that. But Well, their apparent spy has been gone for X amount of years. Mm -hmm recently came back so who knows what information they have avis might be a good starting point because why were they gone for so long where have they been right so yeah um i don't know i guess that is other people that we do have to worry about then other than just max I mean, if they don't know nothing, anything more than what had happened, just for the sake of knowing what happened to Anthony, then I guess that's fine. But also, I don't know how chatty the other princesses are, honestly, so. Well, I asked them to not share that information. I don't know well, if they listened, good. but. That's good want to pull anybody else in to this or are we just keeping it the circle for right now and obviously Kano and the advice obviously Kano and Fang but mm -hmm. if our goal is to try to see what in, like information leaking to Amara I think we shouldn't pull more people in currently until we leak the information yeah. okay All right, so we'll plan a ball. Yep, we'll Red plan. Lies. Plan a ball. I assume we have, <laughs> we'll have someone watching all the kids at night, right? Oh, oh my god. Yes. Oh, that is... <laughs> yeah, I just remember there's a couple da -da 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 -da. other things. Da -da -da. Yeah, there's a couple of things I wanted to bring up, but also, if possible, um, if... Somebody could be watching specifically our children, so that way they don't attempt to sneak in, because they will. <laughs> um, that would be great. I was thinking maybe you could hide them away in the nether, if you would feel comfortable doing that, you and Lillian could. There's and obviously, the spots we can hide and like, keep them safe. Okay. Um, when place would be the lab if you would want to bring I don't know if you're comfortable with Autumn and Willow being uh, in the I would lab I just have to lock some stuff up um, so we don't risk getting into it mm -hmm. I'm not sure if your children would if your children see glass bottles if they would take them and throw them on the floor but I know my kids like to <laughs> get their hands on things <laughs> I mean, they would definitely mm -hmm. like to cause trouble well, if we plan a ball, the kids are going to want to go regardless. Yeah. So, is that a matter of, like... Do they need a separate party? <laughs> a kid's I ball. mean, we can have a kid's party, they, yeah. The kids yeah. did mention they wanted a ball of some sort. Oh. A few yeah, days they ago. mentioned that back in... Or, our kid mentioned it, too, back in the lab. Yeah. So wrote that letter to Melody. What? Oh, yeah. I, I left you a book in your... To Auntie um, Mel? 
Yeah, that one. Please host. Oh, yeah. Please host a ball at daycare. <laughs> Only please, adults please can go to balls. Ball. Frowny face from Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we could do they that. Want a ball. We'll, we'll still need because someone to supervise them, though. They'll, but it'll be easier if it's once they've gone to bed. They can have like a big sleepover or something. So as host like a little kid get together early on, and then once they mm -hmm. sleep, the official ball starts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. One thing that I do want to bring up is just when all of this is said and done. Ah. Uh, do we want any further punishment for Cairo? At this point, I... it depends on whether or not we want um, we want Amara to know that we know Kaya is working. Well, I said when all of this is said and done. So, like, after we're done dealing with Amara, after everything has been dealt with, I don't know what we would want to do because the official rule book is... Technically, what she's been doing is espionage. Um, for Amara, for the first, like, five years ago when she first came here. And then also, you know, committing treason. So that's espionage and treason. I think one of them calls for execution. I don't know, though. I can't remember off the top of my head from our laws. I'm not sure if that's a good thing to discuss in front of her. I made her aware I was going to do it in front of her, whether she likes it or not. I think that call is up to you as princess. <laughs> Kaya knows my opinion. When this is all said and done, if they haven't backstab us again, my deal with them is up. Okay. I guess we'll just figure it out then when the time comes for that. Anything else, and anybody? Yeah. Regarding the ball, if Amar does begin to make moves or noticeable moves, I do want to request that Dahlia has primary residence in the lab in the nether until things settle down, rather than her be frequently in the elven castle if it's going to become a potentially dangerous place for her. Yeah, that makes sense. I would just have to prepare some books for her, but we could definitely do that. We have more than enough potions for her to stay safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we can do more like proofing around the nether if we keep the kids safe. Mm -hmm. Block them off from going down to the Strider stables. Yeah, that would be great. Um, I I don't think I've been down there myself yet though. I don't particularly go over there very often either. Yeah. It's fine. It's just, it's right by the front of the castle, so I wouldn't want them to, like, run down the stairs and then, you know, go mm -hmm. a little too far or decide, Jeez. ooh, let's jump off or, oh, let's go ride a strider, and then it just doesn't She's end well. She's pretty well behaved. Um, she already has shown a lot of interest in potion-related things, um, so I know at least at the beginning, she's probably going to just be in the lab looking through my books regarding potions and testing things out. I'm not sure if she's exactly one to go running off to explore, unless well, actually, I kind of take that uh. back. If Florian or Cinder <laughs> incite her, I she might be more likely, but I, I will ensure she has a significant abundance of fire resistance. It's I think also, um, Curious minds tend to test theories themselves, so if she is into potions, <laughs> I wouldn't surprise I wouldn't be surprised if she wanted to test her potions that she makes. And I, I don't like that. She likes poisonous plants. Oh. So this sounds awful, but obviously poison doesn't really affect Netherian, so But mm -hmm. she it, it will affect her. <laughs> she has, she has me. I, I can, I can make her aware that I will drink what she makes. 
please don't tell her that. <laughs> it, it's least likely to affect me. Yeah, least <laughs> likely to affect you, but you... Okay. That's a well, if it's... discussion we can have privately, but... Alright, I'll take the poison potion for dead. <laughs> Just uh, can't keep her, imagine her away from eating. Early on. Keep her away from eating the flora in the nether, please. Yes, I will avoid having that. I would also need to remove the um, beef jerky from the fridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, that way. <laughs> <laughs> that would be In a the good bone idea. Broth. Yeah. I... <laughs> it's not beef jerky. It doesn't look like beef jerky. <laughs> it's beef jerky. It, it tastes has a like beef jerky. Logo on it. <laughs> yeah. Very tasty. I've learned to like Dan's the beef jerky. Dan's been a long time making that. You what? I said I've learned to like the beef jerky. <laughs> Please don't say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> it has good seasoning. It's cured well, okay? There's nothing... <laughs> I will I never eat it. Lillian still makes very good food. Me. And there's yes, not I a shortage. <laughs> there's not it a shortage a, it was a bar, of variety. It was a bar special. <laughs> now he's gone. Yeah. I know. Um, but okay. Is there anything else we need to discuss here? Or... If the plan is to wait a little bit longer and just kind of slowly sow the seeds of misinformation, then mm -hmm. that is a plan that I personally can stand behind. Okay. And obviously we'll plan a ball at some point. We'll plan it for later down the line, though. It won't be anytime soon. Did you want my help with that, or are you wanting to take charge? I can help if you want, but I'm just asking. I would love to help. Okay. Um, I was planning the cathedral. Okay. Yeah. Then maybe at a later date we can discuss details. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Guys, is that something I can come with you on, or is that something more private and um, personal? I'll, I'll find out. I don't actually know. Okay. But... I guess we have a game plan for now. Mm -hmm. I like this game plan better than the other options, so... <laughs> Okay. Me as well. <clears throat> well, meeting adjourned. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> meeting adjourned. All right. I, well. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. I like one of us can uh, d d d inform Kano. Whoever sees them first, honestly. Okay. Probably will end point. up being you, but... Yeah. If I do see Kano, I will talk to him about it. Okay. Cool. Alright. Well, I'll see you All Tuesday. Right. Yep. Um. Do you know if all three... No, or I guess two are going to be attending, or... Uh, Dahlia is like a... Dahlia is a wild card sometimes, just because she... It's really hard to pull her away. Um, but she wanted to go to at least experience some... Like, to experience it, but... Um, definitely send her, I believe. Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Well then, yep. we'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, well. Where are you headed? Oh. Ah! Okay, well, <laughs> I'm still here. Yay! I'm at the nether portal. I'm going home. But you're we going. We have to go to the Sarah Oh, Kingdom. that's right. Sorry. Oh. It's fine. Maybe I'm there. No, 
it's okay. okay. <laughs> I forgot you had errands. their mailbox names because oh have they not Nimbus captain oh and holden's a knight now i guess they haven't but they have hmm they have a couple new ones of people i haven't met before so Farmer maybe they Nimbus. oh oh hey hi hi uh don't mind me. I'm just, just put leaving some mail over for, uh, for her highness. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, I was just mm -hmm. about to leave this in your, in, your mailbox. Oh, thank you. Right, you're here. So uh, I can just give it to you. All right. Thank you. Uh, actually, I got to come clean with something. Oh. I, you probably won't like this, very much. I found another one. <laughs> another hoe? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I found another hoe. I found another one. Gosh. Where um, are these hoes coming from? For real. I don't know, okay? There's just... so many in the, in the overworld, apparently. There's one there. Um, If you want to keep the box, I don't want to keep taking all your boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I took fine. it out. All right. Well, at least that's that. Okay. I I don't understand how all these holes are escaping the nether. Maybe out of jealousy. I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> I Maybe. don't know either. But I know there are m nether materials that spawn in the islands. So. Yeah. But I uh, yeah. Don't Maybe know when. Reasoning behind them. Yeah. I have a theory. Um. All right. Well, we will catch you later. All right. We'll do. Uh, I need to get over here. Okay. Ah! Are you ah! Oh. I'm just dropping something off for Ira. So, um, do you want to give it to me instead? Um, you, you probably I should. I, um, yeah, I, I can. A bit, it's yeah, you're preoccupied at the moment. Okay, it was just a copy of the Nether Laws because I updated them. Yeah, that, that's that's chill. Thank you. Okay. Uh. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. No, yes. you're good. Um, actually, just out of curiosity, you've not heard anyone talking about a conduit or anything, no? Uh, uh not today, no. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's just just wanted to check. Okay. Why are you acting weird? <laughs> You're always weird. <laughs> well I mean I'm going through I'm a lot kidding, right I'm now. Kidding, <laughs> I would appreciate you not doing this. Um You know this. <laughs> Uh, a little too well. Yeah. Um, you dead. <clears throat> what? Yeah. Um, someone or he broke the conduit at the mansion and Ira woke up this morning and he was dead. Oh my god. Uh, 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 <clears throat> my, if you could please give her my condolences. Yeah, she's and gone. if she needs me for anything, let me know. Okay. Just the, the main kind of goal right now is kind of figuring out who broke the conduit. <laughs> you think someone did it? Do you have it? any idea? Well, it's the same question. Like, do you have an idea who it is? 
Oh, I sorry, I didn't hear it. Um, no, I mean, to to be quite honest, my first thought was an Azarian, but then I was like, I don't think they'd really get away with that. Um, so no, I have absolutely no idea. So it, it was either someone who has a vendetta against this, which could be anyone. There was a lot of people who did not like this man, um, which is great. Um, <laughs> love that. Or, you know, it was the sadder option of the two and he kind of broke it, but I don't know. So, so, we're, so you're leaning more towards kind of murder one. at this point? Um, kind, I mean, I honestly, I think it could have been him, but also I want to think that he wouldn't have done that to his wife and ch or his soon-to-be wife and child um but i have to really talk more with Ira about it because you know but i, I don't want to ask too many questions because you know it just happened and she was crying a lot and I, i'm not too good with that so you know kind of just wondering if you guys saw anything suspicious because i saw nothing here so Either I'm really shit at my job, or someone's, you know, something else happened, and I don't know. I don't want to be that person, but you woke up to him, so there was a body? Yes. Like the, what's it, the drying out thing, I think it was? the conduit was gone in. Yeah. yeah. I just... I just want to confirm. Mm -hmm. um. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. He, he was an asshole, but he was still a friend, so... <laughs> Please, uh, on my behalf, extend my condolences to Ira as well. Of course. Uh, um, she won't be here. Well, she won't be um, available for the next week or so. So um, makes sense. Uh, let her know whenever I get back. Mhm. Mm you said Hazel was staying with you. Yes. Um, Hazel's staying with me, and I'm. Um, if you need any help with an investigation, just let us know we are in an alliance, so... No matter my feelings on Ziff, if you do need the extra hands, we can provide it. I appreciate it, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm not more sure of an investigation, but here we can't find the conduit, so... <laughs> right. But yeah. In the meantime, just find the conduit and hope for the best. Well, mm. we'll let you know if we find any other information. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, the, the book is just a law book, so it can just go in the library. Um, change of topic quickly before we head out. Um, uh, Sparrow only has one li day left on their sentence. Oh, that's good. It is currently, I am potentially putting them back into night in training. And they will be under close watch and scrutiny. As of right now, I am believing that it was a uh, uh, act of act in good faith. So 
If anything is to come of Aspen further, let me know right away, as I will with I you. I do have something to tell you about Aspen. I can't remember if you were told, and I think to I break was. out of the prison. So, um, Aspen's sentence is being extended. <laughs> oh. Um, is how that did they break out? Hold on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> is that what the, the logbook? <laughs> Oh my god! Um, oh, you guys took 74 buckets of lava? Did you encase defense, him in lava? No, not him. All of the cells. Because I <laughs> don't I don't have the energy for it. Uh, quite frankly, I spent... What? <laughs> okay, so... He, what? They kept breaking out, okay? I can I see the so cells? Much. Yes, I... um, but there's only so much you can do until you have to encase the winter cells with lava because how are they going to break out <laughs> then you will die um i also got ira i'm fine brutal, so if they keep breaking out i get to um murder people so that's great are you okay <laughs> no i'm it's been <laughs> there's so much going on here <laughs> wait Jesus was Christ. both breakout attempts with you present no i was um preoccupied with them. I think it was- I was with you! When- when the fucker broke out. What?! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you're- you're making it sound like it's my fault. It might be, I'm not- I'm not What?! Sure. <laughs> no, um, I was- uh, I was with you and Lucia, and, um, I got a missive from Alva, uh, one of the other knights in training, and she said that she heard someone breaking blocks, and so I went to go check it out. Oh. And I found two two um two little arrow alleyways, and he also stuck rocks from me. What did what did he take? So, um, it wasn't really my stuff; it was his, you know, his own stuff. Oh. You know? But wait, I'm still a crime. wait, did he find the old cola yes! thing? Yes, he found <laughs> cola's old thing. I'm so sick of winter prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see the cells? Oh, the keys. Yeah, I saw. So I like checked the logbook, obviously pretty frequently, and I saw that you guys took like so many buckets of lava as one of Sorry. the exports, and I was like, why do they need seventy-four buckets of lava? Look, if, if you had my prisoners... Sometimes... Sometimes they make me cry. Jeez. You're decrepit. Oh! Yeah, sorry, I wanted to make an extra noise. So, so how are they getting out of here, though? Because there's, like, two doors that you have to unlock. I can see the ceiling What's with all, What was with all the bed? Did you- you got rid of the beds? You got rid of everything. Yes, if they want to- I see the lava. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, fun fact, I almost died six times. Trying to Matt! <laughs> oh, jeez. Ooh, Look, I, no, this is- You could have asked a Netherian for help. Um- you can yeah, ask Lucario. Also, quick note, if they can break these bars, they can get in this chest. Oh, well, I don't know what you're storing in that chest, but oh, they can was, get in it. That was the original key forge, so I kind of gave up on that, because I was like, I don't know if I trust these guys or not. That, so, yeah. Not only that, that wouldn't have been smart, because they can just grab the key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, well, I didn't know that at the time. But, so, um, <clears throat> um, um, so what Aspen had done was, um, so instead of being a normal person and just staying inside the prison cell like anyone else would do knowing that they are getting away with not being executed for going into the nether was use this use the beds and also um the snow to i guess glitch in up up there up how did they get so many ceiling. beds there was like 20 in this I room no i don't know and i cried over it if i'm being completely honest Ge genuine someone tears. must have been feeding them <laughs> wool in there did did cold did cold love eat him wool um I asked Cola, uh, Cola was not involved. I also asked Gold or Cold, um, who kind of threatened me. Um, if Aspen dies, that's a completely other thing. Um, what about Alvi? I think is the well, name. Well, Al Alva. I... Alva. I oh, Alva. I would question Cola a little bit more because his whole thing 
at the court case five years ago was the fact that he is a criminologist and he goes into jails and prisons to see if they are breakoutable. So I would not be surprised if he aided Aspen in testing this new upgraded prison you know, that you've created. It's really crazy um, that you mentioned that because turns out Cola, um, uh, Aspen, and um, uh, Cole are all related. So this is great for me. I'm <laughs> loving oh, life. There's I'm so bad sorry. Here. Do you they do you want help? Do you need help? In their blood. Do you need help? Um, I don't think there's enough help in the world for these mother. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me as a part time? Can I be here as a part time? <laughs> um, I think I think, I, I think I'm here enough. How, how much help are you going to be? I think oh, it would be up off? to Ira and and Annabelle. I think even if Annabelle says yes, if Ira's like, no, we got it, and doesn't want to outsource people, we don't want it. We don't. I got mean, it. <laughs> I don't know. I if okay. she says that though, it might like you know look bad you know the whole thing that karma was talking about earlier i don't mind i will say though night pink has been wanting more duties as of late so if you mm. want you could possibly reach out to night pink to see if they would be able to do something because kaya might be tied up for a little bit um, oh that's true but... i don't trust kaya enough to not to help so Okay. Okay. <laughs> Love you. You could be very easily bribed. What? Just saying. What is that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but no. Um. So broke up here. That was fine. You know, I noticed it almost immediately because there was a fucking staircase of snow, which was fine. I didn't mind the snow because Cola had turned his entire prison cell into a snow block and then is it still here? Break out. Um. Yes, but I kind of just. <laughs> oh, is that is that above this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then down he here, he had a whole layer. He had like enchantment yeah, table. He, he had a, he had a he stove. Had a whole... I see. I kind of let that slide because it it did, it was for a task. So I was like, he kind of was just in prison for a task. That and he wasn't true. breaking out of prison, so it was like, you know, Ira was he was extending it. it. <laughs> yeah, he was just extending it, and Ira knew, so it was kind of chill. Um, but yeah, so he um also dug. So I had a barrel in here, you know, just in case they wanted to keep, like, food in the barrel. Um, because I, I was being, like, nice and welcoming to the prisoners, even though they don't fucking deserve it. Um, the, under the barrel, I didn't even notice it the first time. <laughs> when I was, when I was revamping the prison, uh, to put the lava underneath, um, yeah, found, found another exit hole. But there's, um, he, he dug into one of the, um, secret rooms in the, in winter, so that was, that was great. Oh god. Uh, I think I, oh god I hope I got rid of the stuff that was in there before oh well <laughs> that also reminds me Jesus. you I, you pointed out a flaw with our new prisons right I did I didn't fix it yet I can do that today actually yeah now I fix remember that. to do it if you want someone fix to test today, it please. I have some prisoners that <laughs> Have a habit of no, they can find out uh, no, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm okay with not bringing Cola into our prisons. Look, um, oh, great, great. I don't have the mental capacity to deal with it. <laughs> it must be nice. It must be. It's so great. So glad you don't have to deal with it. I'm so sorry. But yeah, if you, if you need help, I'm sure. I'm sure Kaya could. I'm okay with you freelancing people, but it has to be approved by both me and Era. Oh no, if I was to go to Era and I'm like, can I please have help? She'll be like, just make Aspen a knight again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. Well, you have I, me I, and Pink. Oh, yeah, great. I, you, you definitely always have had. Oh, back. fuck off! You've tried to kill me on multiple occasions! What? You just kill me too. You deserve it, off. Okay. I would offer. I would offer Lucario if he wasn't so tied up. Um. Oh no! I'd, I'd never uh, want to bestow Lucario. Not that fast. Okay. 
Okay. Would you disturb <laughs> my night? Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Max has it out, please. Um, I have it out for. I know. I'm fucking going. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Because they were like, get out of my prison. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just sounded like you were trying to do like okay. an accent. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. have fun. Another oh my God, she. Just, yes, yesterday oh, she went up to a Sky it. Island. I had to. Also, I think <laughs> your child has been leaving rations in all of our mailboxes. I think yeah, she's been leaving. Apples and bread. Fish? I, I I think it's her. Oh, bread. Apples? And apples bread. And bread. I think it was- I don't I remember if she- definitely her. Okay. Mm. Hold on. Check your mailboxes, by the way, at the Elven Kingdom. I, I did find something, yeah. I finally mm -hmm. cleaned mine out. Um, also, <laughs> I saw, uh, I came to drop off a, a template for, uh, Ear the other day, and I saw you guys have a Puffer fish store? <laughs> yes. That, that's um, Lucita's. That is my child's. <laughs> Your daughter is selling drugs? <laughs> it's, look, <coughs> she's a young entrepreneur. I have to give it to her. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she's just. Um, it's not for the kids, it's for the adults, so. Uh, please keep I really debated on buying some. <laughs> Um, sure I, guess, I, heard she what? I didn't, but I didn't know whose it was. No, because I'm not going to support a child in the drug ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we get so much puffer uh, fish and we can't eat them. And I give all mine to Lucario anyway, so. Luke, uh, 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 I just learned something about my captain. <laughs> You know, everyone has their thing. You know, I'm sure after he like the kid go to bed, he's like completely like fucking over it. <laughs> so he just you know like just ha has a the, yeah <laughs> has a puffer fish and goes to bed. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> oh my god! Um, apparently I've been informed oh I'm not god. supposed to tell people that Lucy uh, is doing the puffer fish. Oh well, well, well it's well, a little bit too late. Uh. Uh, I will have Not to reevaluate your yeah. child's relationship with my children. Um, she's if there just is a girl. Any. I don't think there is. <laughs> well, no, she likes Floria. I have two Netherian children. No, 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 I know. But I mean, like, I, I didn't know she, like, was friends, if you know. Well, friends is a word. She knows Floria. Okay. She's kind of scared of Floria. Fair. Yeah, me so too. Am I. I am also. <laughs> okay, I can't go one day without catching a stray. Just, my child is just feral, apparently. Oh, the cat. Oh, yeah, no, she's coming off. How does. She... <laughs> Hold on. Is she here? How does she know? <laughs> oh, you fixed the door. Oh, yes. Magic fixed the door. Lucy. Yep. <laughs> Wait, where is this? Do is it over here? Oh yeah, it's over here. <laughs> Lucy, that? Are you over here? Money is money. <laughs> that would be really funny if we walked up and she was manning the store. <laughs> so you've you've heard A about my coin. store. <laughs> it's like Grown ups so only. <laughs> And no sparrow. And no sparrow. No sparrow. <laughs> oh yeah, I made her put that one. Um, this is what I'm talking about. It's clearly fizzy, bitter. Uh, uh, um, oh, there's the <laughs> all the different times. Yeah. I I want. Oh, spicy. Fizzy. Yeah. Bitter. bitter. Um. And then low. Sweet. So, I'm not gonna tell my child to shut that. Aged. Oh hi, hi Lucida. There was a gap in the market. <laughs> Did you get money yet? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> money. I know, you told me this yesterday. You can ask me for money, you know that, right? Can I get money? 
not there. <laughs> Where did wow. you find this child? So, uh, which one would you recommend? <laughs> behind the library. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I found her behind I'm the library. Kidding. My little orphan. <laughs> But what is this one? It's not. It's not named. Um, it's too like ordinary. It's the uh, average, fresh, oh. fresh pufferfish. That's what it is. Thank you. I can't believe you right now. I didn't have to pay for it. I'm not supporting anything. It's free. <laughs> Leave me that. You have to give me that free drug. I mean, fuck pufferfish. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, I mean, I have a good time when I eat them. <laughs> oh that my goodness. Why they should be sold. They not only do that. You can't give them out for free. You can't give samples. Okay. okay. Oh, That's no, how you I... lose business. People are going to take advantage. Okay. Oh yeah, this one is meant to be low puffer fish. I forgot. I don't want to think right now. Morgan, I by any chance, do you, do you know if Parma likes to participate in the puffer fish? Um, I don't think I know. I know Lena did. Oh, did you make? Did you make? I don't pass? think Karma does. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Are you going to buy gift. a gift? No. Huh? No, Karma can't come here anyway, so it's fine. True. That's true. What? I see. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not like I gave one to your child or. <laughs> How's it going? I'm all right. How about you? I'm doing okay. We were That's just good. talking to Max. So, mm -hmm. are you looking for them? Yeah. Um, I believe they're over um, by the markets. Okay, thank you. Mm I want to talk to Kaya. <clears throat> Carlet equals do this farming. Okay, then you can keep it. That's fine. Okay. Oh, piss off! <laughs> I'm going to bomb in Where'd your you house. I swear to God. No. Just... There will be a bomb placed outside your house tomorrow morning. Nowhere. Just ran away. Okay. You can't. You can't just make those threats, Matt. Okay. I can, it's the coat, it's fine. Which um <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna head out if there's nothing else. Um <clears throat> I will see you guys around. Okay. You're free to stay, but I'm going home if you wanna do Oh well I was headed that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> well then we shall uh, see you later. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye. Hi Lucario.
Oh, you said it's not that's what Cardio? What? What? Oh my god. He doesn't need to stock up, he gets it for free. Are you alright? Yeah. I just <clears throat> have a lot on my mind. School, Amara, Aspen, cold, cola. Talk to me. If you want. I'm not gonna strong arm you into talking about anything you don't want to. No, it's, I'm just... <clears throat> I know you don't agree. <clears throat> but I'm still an elf and I still I still value life even if the life The person has done things. You don't want Amara to die. Um, well, to be honest, I didn't even think about that. I was thinking more about Kaya. I, um, I don't know how they truly feel about it now because Kaya and I's relationship have kind of, uh, uh separated <clears throat> in the years. But my initial promise to them of if they are caught being a weasel that I would personally am amend their wrongdoings I didn't just do that because I know you trust them I don't know how they feel about it now but I know that life was not something that they valued of themselves And for someone who doesn't value their life like that, what is worse than being kept alive? Because I wanted to kill Kaya Fat. They're the reason why your brother is gone. They've been a, a spy. They... Uh, I... Out of... <clears throat> I think my trust for Kaya came on so quicker than I thought it ever would have and to find out that was the plan it infuriated me but 
but why would I give someone something that they want? And at the end of the day, it's not up to me. It's up to Annabelle. And Annabelle has stronger feelings than I do about it, so. Yeah. I see your worry. I just feel well we've had this conversation before but many times then I need to be held to the same standard in what regard For the things I've done, for the things I do, for the <clears throat> lack of value I have on my life. I thought that had changed. It did. It is. And why do you want to do this? I know you're technically still an heir to the Elven throne, but it, it's the age of the Magnolia. It's not your responsibility. I don't know how else to explain it other than, like, I feel this sense of... <sighs> I don't know if it is the curse. This sense of me needing to sacrifice myself in some way, shape, or form for the Elven kingdom. I'm just surprised this curse hasn't broken with Maholia being gone. Is it because it wasn't via the nether? It's because the wrong twin died. She's not the younger one. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to worry you. I, it was just... The meeting, and then the news of Ziff, and everything that just, <clears throat> and the breakout of prison, I just, it, there's a lot on my mind, and it just came, it, when I get pressured, it just, it bears on me. Sorry. It's alright, but I just want you to know that those things, they're not your weight to bear. The breakout and the the law breaking, that's for me to work about. I don't want you to have to worry about those things. You're here as a guest, and I would love you to be a part of the nether, but that is ultimately your choice. But the responsibility of the nether is not on you. And I know that, and I it's <sighs> I just also want to protect you. Hmm. But putting yourself in the line of fire is not protecting me. I know. In my opinion, to put it bluntly. <clears throat> I know, that's why... <sighs> that's why I don't understand I have myself. It's just this overwhelming feeling I get every time something happens. And maybe it's related to the curse. I don't know. I wish I wish it was easy to blame a thing that's out of our control but I think this curse has gotten in your head 
you think that when people die, it because of you, but it's not. There are other factors that fall into it. Because you have or had a curse on you doesn't... Who knows? The curse could just be false. It could literally be a mind game to... Written by someone who wanted to weaken the elven line. It doesn't feel false when your entire family is dead. You didn't kill them. Those things weren't your fault. <laughs> and maybe that's the curse. Me thinking that I'm responsible for everything that happens. I don't know. And wanting to sacrifice myself because of it. I don't... Life is so unfair. I know. I just don't want you to burden yourself anymore. I know that's <laughs> an immense ask. deserve to be happy and I want to be I want to be free of these thoughts <laughs> maybe can, Kaya can give you one of their potions and it works in the opposite and you lose, your, lose some of your memory <laughs> <laughs> memory loss yeah. I could probably benefit for some of that I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm sorry that I can't help. It's not true. I am definitely happier here than I was in the Elven Kingdom alone. And you're a great distraction. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I... You know my stance on death. Mm -hmm. It's a balance. I think that's why it kind of I think it's an interesting tidbit about us that is true <laughs> death follows and surrounds me constantly and I am indifferent to it where it is something that you want to avoid at all costs and life follows you A yin and a yang. <laughs> True. Well, I... I'm gonna finish up a book that I have, that I've been writing. Okay. And then... We can relax and take our minds off of today. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Well, I'm going to go to my office and then we can hang out. Okay. Um, I am just going to, I'll be down here a little bit. Just I'm preparing some stuff for school. 
I'll meet you uh, up there. Oh, how did show and tell go, actually? Oh, it went well. It, yeah. Everyone... <laughs> <laughs> Did everyone like the sheep? <laughs> the sheep was funny, but I think the one that hit it off the most was Captain Chicken. Captain Chicken. Yes, so um, Asher brought Captain Aiden dressed in a chicken costume. Oh. And he basically was my assistant for the day, um, but it was really funny because everyone called him Captain Chicken all day long. It was really cute. I, <laughs> I am so mad. I didn't get to witness that, and I had to go to a dumb meeting. Oh my god! It was pretty great, and we played tag down in the new playground, and oh, nice. yeah, it was good. What's on the agenda for this week? Um, they're all supposed to bring um, their favorite book. Um, and then I was going to touch, just because it's been on my mind recently, touch the basic laws of each kingdom. Um, so all the children are aware of them too. And then we'll talk, we'll share a little bit more about each other's kingdoms. Maybe they can share some stories. And then we'll play. Well, I currently have a copy of the Netherium Law on me if you want to take Well, I wasn't going to, like, back. read them a 20-page paper <laughs> on, like, I was going to bring up 10. the most basic ones and talk about, like, maybe uh, one or two to begin with. They're only, like, three and four years old, so. <laughs> I mean, some of them definitely have the capability. I believe Dahlia could probably absorb oh, the yeah. entire entirety of the world's law books but i don't want to overwhelm them all they're all in different stages right now so i want to keep it as even as possible um but i could i could give Dal i could pre prepare something for the more advanced ones so they can yeah that's true absorb that information more <laughs> Um, oh, I took the well, tool up from the... Oh, oh, I gotta put that back. Oh. <laughs> I'll go do that then while you go write your book. All right. Okay. Sounds okay. good. I'll meet okay. up with you later. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Ah, stay safe because I didn't say it. Ah. Uh. Oh. What's up? Uh, let's actually TV to me in just a second, okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right, I'm just oh my God. gonna make this quick. Okay. If you have a conversation with Amara, I want to know. I want to be there. You, you want to be there in real time. In real time. Not seen. I don't want her to see me, obviously. Oh uh, yeah. But I do want to hear the conversation. Um. Sure, I. I guess that's that's up to you. I don't think you really need my permission for that. Well, I just I need you to tell me if and like what time like place um, is the thing. Um, it'll probably be at her house. When I have no idea, I need to catch her. She's available. Well, please let me know. Um, don't send me a physical letter. Um.
but yeah, let me know as soon as you can. Okay. And I... I do trust you. But I want to make sure that you're... You're saying everything. I am. And I want to know what she says. I want to know what it, she's like when she talks to you. I want to see if it's she's a, avoiding or if she's um, has other alternative plans or is just holding back. I want to be there to witness it. Do you want do you want Annabelle to know that you're listening? Okay. Does Morgan know? Is that true? Okay. I don't think she would approve of it, but I do I do want to be there. And I I also want you to tell her about the plan of the ball. So, am I telling her about the ball and the curse? Um, no. Maybe don't tell her about the twin curse plan that we plan to feed information. But do tell her... Well, actually... I, I should have asked this at the meeting. I, I don't really know what to say specifically. That's because I'm asking you. Just... Sorry? I, I'm asking you to tell her... About the elven ball that we planned no, no, to host no, I one. Know, but like, but like, I, I would she need more information to, to, what if she wants to show up? Then I, I will be there to know if she wants to show up. And you will, <laughs> you, and you will form, inform Annabelle. We, we want her there. We want her to show up. I mean, okay. I don't know if I want her to show up or not. But if, I think if it's she important wants to show up. Should but I think it's important that you feed her this information. No, you have to be it. a double agent in some way, shape, or form. You have to feed her information because if you hold back that we're having an elven ball, and then we spread rumors around, and you didn't inform her ahead of time. I'm trying to help you build trust again. Thank you. Um, I will tell her whenever I can see her, and I'll and I'll let you. Know. Yeah. Hopefully, you're. I want to be there in person, and maybe I can be missive in you to ask her questions. You know where she lives, right? You've uh, seen her yes, I think so. In Evergreen. Yes. The really random looking. That does yeah. not fit in with the other one. <laughs> I thought it was abandoned. Does she actually really live there anymore? Or is that just a meeting spot? I mean, I I think it's a meeting spot. Because I'm going to be honest. I've been in there multiple times when she is not there. And there is nothing in there. Yeah, I think she's definitely hiding somewhere else. She doesn't. She wouldn't want all of her personal things in such a easy access. Yeah. Any, anyway, um, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, thank you. That's all I wanted to talk about. One more thing. Mm-hmm. I understand what it's like not to value your life. But don't make deals with Morgan. Hmm? Don't make... I know the deal that you made with Morgan. When the I was deal. in the ice. Oh. That How do you know? 
She just told Did me. Did I tell you? She just told me. Oh. And I don't want you to make any more sort of deals like that again. I know I don't have the authority to tell you anymore, but I'm just telling you as your friend. So it's okay if you risk your life, but all of a sudden when I do it, it's, it's a bad thing. I'm... I understand I sound like a hypocrite. I just had this conversation. I understand what it's like not to value your life, but I... I'm trying really hard to. If I... I'm trying really hard to not think those thoughts anymore. Sometimes they creep up on me, but I am safe. I'm trying to be. And I apologize for, I guess, putting myself last with this plan. I just, it was the first idea that popped into my head and I... And I, I didn't view it as me ending up being killed. Or hoping that it would. I... I know you've had good intentions. But I... Anyways, I was just saying that I don't want you... After all is said and done... I still promise to plead for your life. I don't want you executed. I appreciate that, but I don't know if Annabelle feels the same. Well, I don't know if Morgan feels the same. I don't know how Karma feels. Well, I'm telling you how I feel. And if there's any ounce of authority that I have left, then I will try and make it so. But I'm also telling you I appreciate you th that, but I don't... I'm also telling... that other people hold the same opinion of me. I'm telling you... <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you, actually. I just don't like it. I don't like... It's obvious that you're doing a lot for the kingdom. It's obvious that you've done a lot for the kingdom. And yes, you didn't kidnap me unless we consider Ivy taking me to Ivywood was kidnapping. But I, in my head, it's not. I don't know. I feel like people want the power to point a finger. And I do agree that there should be consequences, but then I should be held to the same standard with the things that I've done and am currently doing. Oh, yeah. So. But no one's going to hold me to those standards because I'm an elven heir. But if you're just a knight... And I don't necessarily agree with that. I've been raised most of my life in an orphanage similar to you. And just because you aren't an heir to a kingdom doesn't mean that your life is less valuable. And I just wish... I just wish others would see it that way. I don't know, maybe Annabelle is... <sighs> As an elf, we value... Life is precious. So I don't want her to take her so lightly.
that's all I wanted to say. Is it all in my head? I don't want to kill anyone. I don't... I, why do I not value myself as much as an elf would value life? I value the lives of others, but why not myself? Is it a curse or is it just the circum circumstances? Kaya too. Is it Amara? Is it a curse? Or is it just something else? I don't know. I wonder if she's done. Is it go? Alright, well, I don't think I have anything else ready to get ready, so I think I could sneak around and try and build a secret room downstairs like I was planning to earlier, um, but I think I'm going to just do that another time. Maybe I'll do that next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Princess SMP. If you liked it, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.